can the market crash in this game? Sort of. I mean, it'll come back. I, I was crashing the market all the time. Every time I was selling stuff, I was, I was really keeping the market on those metals really low because I just I had a ton of it and I was just selling it all the time, which means I wasn't making much money. I just had way too much, and I never gave it a chance to get back up. So like iron was basically worthless, um, and that's why it was getting hard for me to actually make money, because I focused everything in one spot, and if I spread it around, then it'll get better. Um, so yeah, there is, these are basically the four different races, now that I realize. So there's a scavenger, and a scientific to check out. Um, we'll do those in just a minute. I'm going to take a quick break, and I will be right back. Here's the game plan. <laughs> you want to destroy his Twitch tat chat, get everyone banned, and yeah. Okay. Let's do it. It's too bad he's not some on YouTube for this part. I know. <laughs> Actually, I don't even know if they can, they can hear us right now. I don't know if they can. No way. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah they can. Probably can. Okay, I am back. Um, yeah, so what do you guys think so far? Are you enjoying the game? And welcome to Don Jobnik. Oh yeah, good to see you again. I don't know what to think of it yet. It's, it looks interesting, but I don't know if I want to buy it yet. Like, yeah. Definitely if it goes on a good sale, I'll get it. Yeah, I got it on sale. I, I'm not sure. Like right now, is it 40? Is that what it is? Non sale? I would say it's different. Never seen a game like it. Yeah. It's its own thing. Human entered your chamber. Welcome. Steve 2.0. Hey, Steve. There's more nuances to it, Mac Redco. But yeah, it's not it's not quite there. And um you say it's quite dangerous without the headset. <laughs> to look like a biker. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Welcome to Jack Squire. How's it going? Well, I mean, there are definitely... Obviously, the tile thing make, is, is reminiscent of Civ. It's very, it's very much like Civ, but there's no combat. So you're really focusing on the economy. 
there's no combat, but there's like nukes. Like, what what is the extent of the nukes? Like? Were what they did is they actually lowered um, the resource count of. Uh, you launch it underneath a resource, and it'll drop it by one level. So if they somebody grabbed like the the best resource, you can say, well, it's not so good now, is it? And that, that's basically what it's good for. Is back. Oh, what's up, Wishful? Yeah, laundry. Very exciting. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is weird. Looks like I've got 22 people, but it also looks like I have nine. What are you playing tonight? Off-world trading company. Nice. Have you seen anything on it? Let me fix something real quick, guys. Alright. Yeah, we'll see how the scavengers play. I don't think I did that well with the robots. I need to learn them a little bit better. And you're thinking of making cookies now. Oh, look at the cookie. Oh, because I'm eating cookies. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. I had to kind of nom on something for a second. But now we're ready to get back into this. So, um, <clears throat> let's uh, do a little intro for the YouTubers. So, hey, everybody out there in YouTube. Uh, this is Scarlet Rever from Scarlet Rever Gaming. Yeah, I've been working on an intro for that, and uh, that was terrible. <sighs> um, let's start that over. Cut. Um, so hey, everybody, this is Scarlet River Gaming. Um, we're gonna play some uh, off-world trading company today, and uh, we're on our fourth tutorial now. This is uh, the scavenger tutorial took me a little bit to figure out that these were all different races, but that's what they are. Expansive, robotic, scavenger, and scientific. So, there we go. Alright, win as scavenger. Your mission is to win with a scavenger HQ. Scavenger HQ uses carbon instead of steel for most buildings to upgrade. Okay. Also, scavenger HQs can use the black market more frequently and learn about random events that affect the black market, or that affect the market sooner. Oh, market. Alright, um, alright, there are events. Okay. Cool, cool. So those watching on YouTube, yes, this is a live stream where we're recording this originally. You can see the chat here on the right. Um, Medium oh, levels of water found. So I do, th these are humans, they need water. It's just the robots who don't. Low levels of aluminum found. Low levels of iron found. Medium levels of aluminum found. High levels of water found. High levels of aluminum found. So right Medium now, levels of iron found. Outside, there is a 12 pound Yorkie chasing around a 70 pound pit bull. Hmm. Yorkie is winning. What? Awesome. High levels of iron found. A 
They seem to be enjoying the game, but the Yorkie's winning it. <laughs> so, this first phase, we just scan the map as much as we can and find out what's going on. Now, it looks like this time I wasted no time and uh High levels burned of through my scans found. pretty quickly. There's some good carbon there. Now carbon is actually my main thing and of course this map seems to have lots and lots of iron. That's a good um, aluminum deposit. But I'm not finding high amounts of carbon. Iron rich world. Medium levels of silicon found. If I can find high levels of here, silicon found. map is not intended for scavengers, apparently. That's the only bits of carbon I'm seeing. Okay, we got just a few scattered bits. Jeez. up there in the corner. Man. So I better take this. Grab the these two little bits of car. Okay, well this is a few out here actually. That's something. I did, I can't believe I didn't even spot that. But uh, yeah, carbon. There's like twelve. But this way I can at least have a good resource base. That's got a little bit of everything right in here. Send my guys out to, to nab those right away and let them take the, the trip. Get the monopoly on carbon. That's the best I can do. There are lots of geothermal pockets. Let's get those ships uploaded and see what we can use. Remote this colony, colony is found to build uh, itself. Idea. We just said there are two main Expansive screen. colony found Remote it. colony found it. Um, say what? Let's read chat for you. Okay, uh, I couldn't hear you though. Uh, but let's see, Chilla, what's up man? Um, was it mostly slot machines, what you said, or what? Just some back and forth between Luigi and Project, and now Wi-Fi is asking the question. 
Okay. Uh, do you have to make all these claims now, or can you save some for later? Uh, uh, you once once you're in. Now th those weren't claims; those were scams. That give gave me the view of the map. I don't know how it's gonna work once we actually get to the real game in multiplayer. Uh, like if that's gonna be timed, or if I wait. I th I have a feeling that once um. If I take too long scanning, then somebody else is going to grab up the best location. So the idea is scan, find what you need, and get out. But right now, I don't know what I'm doing that well, so I want to get a, a look at the map. And because this map is, they said, my main resource is carbon, I'm looking for carbon, and there's not much on it. That's the reason why I'm going for as much of the map. That's the most I've scanned of any map. Usually, I've done around 50%. But, yeah. Claim it for Scarlet Revertopia or something. Robotic colony expanded. Grabbing the best carbon tool. What are you doing? Get out of here. Oh, you kidding me. I think I've messed up my claims here. I can upgrade. I've got... Did I not make an aluminum claim? I did not make an aluminum claim. I'm going to have to buy that. Carbon. I don't have fuel. Like, what... <clears throat> He grabbed that aluminum. He had his own aluminum. Better aluminum. One thousand. Two thousand. Three bidding will be thousand. Four thousand. Five thousand. Six thousand. Seven thousand. Eight thousand. You guys can buy up that GMO th geothermal so. if you want. What, how does that work? I, they're adding in these little things here that I'm like... I have no idea what it was. It may not be the prettiest looking upgrade, but damn is it efficient. You should be proud of our guys. Wi-Fi is asking, if, is that your carbon they're grabbing? No, they didn't grab my carbon. He grabbed the my best aluminum next to me though it's like that was just kinda a dick move okay no and that was orange I think oh and he go okay he grabbed both the best carbon and the best uh... I'm not, sorry not carbon iron and the best steel right here and that's kind of it was a real dick move but the black market is online There's no way I can block him out. Um, yeah, I don't know where that auction was, though, like where it came from, how I could initiate one and maybe like buy this tile off of him or something, but that's probably not an option. But I can knock him Robotic down. Colony expanded. But actually, I can purchase a mutiny off of this thing. That way he doesn't get early use of it.
the Night. black market Night, is online. Oh yeah, it does kind of. Last time I went with no power, and I, that's why my debt was insane. But apparently, that didn't matter too much. You're like, eh, whatever. What does it take to upgrade? It's carbon. I'm not steel. I don't need steel. I need carbon and aluminum. Carbon supply. Two thousand. New patent. Three thousand. Four thousand. Oh, a patent. Five thousand. Six thousand. I don't even have six thousand. You gotta let it go. So did that put me in debt? All right, I got a patent for superconductor. I forget which one that does. I have no claims. What? I've already. Have I used all my claims? I'm in trouble. It may not be the prettiest looking upgrade, but damn is it efficient. You should be proud of our guys. Expansive colony expanded. Built a glass factory. Okay, I did. Just taking the way of my silicon up. Okay, now they're, they're, they're now producing. Six thousand. Seven thousand. Was this a claim auction? What? Eight thousand. Nine thousand. Ten thousand. Robotic colony expanded. How do I initiate?
need fuel. Fuel in O2. Food, I need more. Let this be a lesson to you all. Screw with us, and we screw really with buying? you. Who are you buying? Oh, somebody dynamited. Patented entertainment upgrade. Targeted by dynamite. Okay. Where's my glass going? It looks like my glass is auto-selling. Why would that be? Auto sell of power. So it's a glass furnace. I don't understand. Understand where my glass is going? Um, we just close to 24 hours. Matt said, um, off their site, it looks like the auctions are random. Okay, thank you, Matt. Who does she want to screw? Everybody. Um, no storage, and you're losing glass. Uh, is a storage a thing? I don't have a glass storage. I, I, I haven't had to get storage for anything. What would I be using the glass for? I think that's got to be what is, what's happening. I'm using it somewhere. Who uses glass? Does my headquarters... Use glass for some reason. We don't live off of glass, I don't think. Geothermal. Now I at least have the money to. Not a problem. We'll have this done in a jiffy. I just glass. need to locate some spare parts. Human left your chamber. Now I gotta increase my food. That's also a glass. God damn it. Let this be a lesson to you all. Screw with us, and we screw with you. That's the only thing I've got this far away. Expansive colony expanded. I 
I don't really understand. More food. Special buildings either. All I have is the geothermal. That's a direct conversion. Freelance pirates Five. are auctioning their Thousand. services to the highest Six. bidder. Thousand. Seven. Thousand. Eight. Thousand. Nine. Thousand. Understand what that is, but so let's take some pirates. I have pirates. Okay, what do they do? Place pirates on the map to do your dirty work. Place them near arrival transports, and they will hijack them and give you a share of the goods. Give me your glass. that would hit that pirates Grab I hate those filthy bandits robotic colony expanded How's this work? they have to actually hit them or they're running into them but that's not as far as I can tell Maybe I had to actually place it right on their frickin' lane, and so that's a waste. I don't know. Still got no glass. Now maybe it's because... Robotic colony expanded. This is just their power consumption. That's the only thing I've seen is that the power is an issue, but... They produce point... It produces half a glass a second. Oxygen, I have silicon. I'm just, I'm really frustrated with that lack of. Well, all these new people. I don't know everybody's name yet. Now, it actually said I had glass there. It said I had 60 available at that time. So I think something's just not right here. What happens if I buy 10 more? It's a takeover. Someone owns all of another player's company stock. They also control that company. So I need to have enough to do a total buyout on them is what it is, I think. So I guess I need like 21000 to buy out Patton, by the way. I assume that's what that means. Expansive colony expanded. That was valuable. Yeah. That took out patent. All right, cool.
So now I own him and I can control his stuff? He's a robotic. Okay, wow, okay. I never, I haven't actually controlled their other company before. Do I get all of his shit? Okay, now I have de robotic demand. Eesh, I'm spending money on that. Now that requires silicon and carbon and aluminum. chemical production. Uh, my fuel is down. I have claims. Did I inherit that guy's claims too? Oh, dude's buying this up. Possibly, actually, I could take out entertainment and rather than buy, worrying about their operation. Thousand. Bidding will begin at eight thousand. So. If I build something close to him, is it going to go more to him, or is it going to have to take its way to me? I don't want to build iron, and that's all he's got right next to him. They have demand for circuits. gonna buy her. <laughs> Alright, I can. This will end this game. Let's... What? What oh, I gotta pay? Okay, buy out Mrs. Entertainment. Buying out a player will eliminate them from the game. You will buy all other players' shares in that player, but at twice the price. Okay, you have to pay them twice the price. Okay. Gotcha. That was scavenger, and that was rough because normally a scavenger map, you know, I think scavenger could do good, but that particular map they made sure it was difficult because you had 
no carbon. I spent a lot of time worrying about that, but it really wasn't a big deal, honestly. And once I realized, oh, okay, let's focus on just getting enough money to buy these guys out, I could probably win these games much faster. I gotta pay attention to the economy, sell what I have, you know. I'm not selling my stuff quickly enough, and I wish, I kinda wish there was an auto sell, but at the same time, probably not the best idea, now that I think about it. But, alright, uh, those of you watching the YouTube video, thanks for watching, and uh, come back and see the next, uh, I guess the final tutorial, um, and then we'll get into the real game, so, yeah.